Hi, I'm Roger Webb, president of TreeTech Microinjection Systems, and today I'd like to talk to you about Snipper, our deflowering agent. This is another TreeTech tip designed for better explanation of our products and how you can use them. Well, you would have to time your injections for Snipper at the early part of the spring season. You'd have to pay particular attention to when your winter flower buds were breaking dormancy. Uh, these flower buds are set in the previous fall, and as they overwinter, they will begin to uh, expand and elongate as the warm weather returns. Now, sweet gum's different from many of the other species because they, the tree does not flower all at once. There'll be a portion of the canopy whose flower buds will break dormancy before another portion and oftentimes it's a period of 7 to 10 to 14 days between these waves which makes the timing of injection a little more difficult. You need to inject at early in the spring when the flower buds are breaking dormancy and the yellow green mass of floral structures are beginning to extrude or push out beyond the uh, apical tip of each flower bud. This is a period of intense cellular elongation and that's that perfect time when we wish to disrupt that cellular elongation by use of the snipper hormonal product. You can inject anywhere along the trunk, however two of the most popular areas are at the base of the tree, 6 to 12 inches up from the ground line, or if you're doing a number of trees, you can use the standard forestry measurement of four and a half feet above ground level, which is known as diameter at breast height or DBH. You would look for the proper time, which is very critical for injection. Assuming you injected at that correct time period, you would see anywhere from seven to ten days after injection, you would expect the elongating flower structures to begin to die and fall off. And you should see this litter of floral parts on the ground, again, within seven to ten days after injection to know that you've had a successful treatment. Well, it's very difficult. Now, again, timing is critical. If you have a sweet gum that, let's say, has two separate waves of flowering, the, those waves will be separated by 7 to 10 to 14 days, depending upon how the early spring weather uh, occurs. If there are repeated periods of cold and then warm and cold and warm, you actually may have a longer period between the waves. Theoretically, to treat the trees in the proper stage of floral development, you need to inject early. So if you had a, your first wave, you would treat that wave. Then when the second wave out, to get those flowers, you'd have to treat the second wave. Sometimes there's a third wave. Uh, I find that injecting before each wave uh, creates a lot of injection sites, which are small wounds. Uh, it's going to be more costly. And therefore, if you're only injecting in the first wave, the flowers that will break dormancy in the second wave and the third wave, if that should happen, uh, are usually not treated. Therefore, you will get the reduction in flowers from the first wave, but not from flowers in the second and third wave. So an estimate of success with sweet gums is probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 40 to 50 percent reduction of flowers. These units are installed at a four inch uh, interval around the circumference of the tree. So you would need to measure your circumference, which you can do directly by taking a flexible carpenter's tape and measuring the circumference directly. Or you could take a diameter measurement and convert that to circumference. But in any way, the circumference measurement uh, is what you base it on and you divide that by four and that will give you the number of four inch intervals and therefore one injection unit per interval, that will be the number of injection units. No, the flower buds are set at the end of every growing season and they overwinter. The early spring you will see those flower buds break dormancy. Treating the trees at the time 
will reduce the number of buds, but it will not stop the bud crop that will be formed at the end of the next growing season. So it is an annual treatment. There are other alternatives to Sniffer, but they're very few in number. Uh, there is a product which contains the chemical ethophon, which mimics the natural way that the leaves are shed in the fall by creating a, a, a chemical substance within the plant that uh, will aid in the casting off of, of flowers and leaves. When it's used uh, on early developing flowers, of course, usually the leaf uh, buds break later so that the only thing on the plant would be the flower buds. But this material has to be sprayed on. So on, on trees of any size you have the obstacle to come up with a ladder or scaffolding or bucket truck and then it's rather tedious to spray each individual flower in order to get rid of it. And there are some other, uh, other problems with this material. The solvent on there, uh, if there's overspray, uh, does not react well with aluminum, so your travel trailer, your lawn furniture will have to be removed from the area. And also if your house has copper gutters, there's a reaction of the solvent mist and it has the typical turquoise uh, uh, copper sulfate uh, crystals that will form and react negatively with the copper gutter. Well, thank you for joining us for another Tree Tech Tip. We always look forward to hearing from you. Thank you for your time.